Hey everyone, my name is George Edmondson with Seed Digital Media. I'm coming at you with another tutorial video. This one was um, kind of requested by a guy in a Final Cut Pro X user group that I'm, uh, I know him just through Facebook and all that kind of stuff. Um, and basically what he wants to do is have the scrolling credits at the end of a film, but he wants the company logo to be scrolling along with the credits. Now there are multiple ways you can do this. You can manually keyframe um, along with the uh, pre-built, you know, scrolling text animation, just keyframe it and do that. Um, or there's the way that I'm going to show you, which is really, really simple. And anyone can do it, even if you're on iMovie, Final Cut X, any, any of those uh, programs, you should be able to do this. All you need is an image editor and um, be able to you know export and control the output resolution you should be good to go i'm going to be using idraw so let's jump in all right so like i said i'm going to be using idraw but you can use any image editor let's go ahead and create a new document we're going to make it blank now this right here is what you need to pay attention to the width and the height so what we're going to do is we're going to make it 1920, but instead of 1080, let's make it something like 20,000. How about that? All right, so what you're going to notice is you're going to have a long, thin image, okay? And that is what you want. So, all in this area are going to be where your text for your credits are. Oh, come back. So, let's just start with some credits. We've got that centered. We're just going to make some stuff up. These are your credits. I'm doing this really fast because I've got a bunch of projects I'm working on right now. Just making some stuff up, whatever, whatever. And then let's add a logo in there. And he is wanting the logo to scroll along with the text. So we're just going to add my logo. Make it a nice PNG. Why not? How's that one? All right. And let's keep adding some text. So All right. I'm going to move that text box over so that it's in the middle. All right, so you're going to want something along these lines with your credits and you want your logo and all that jazz. We're going to export this. Let's go ahead and do it as a PNG. And I want my image resolution to be fairly high because we are going to zoom in. It doesn't need to be that high for these purposes. It's going to be a huge file. Let's just save that as credit test. All right, so I believe we've got our credits. Let's not save. Let's go into Final Cut Pro. All right, so now we are in our editor. Final Cut Pro X is what we're using. What you need to do is go and grab that image and drag it into your timeline. You're going to notice we can't see anything because we don't have a background. So let's, let's add us a background really quickly just so we can see it. Just do 
pastel, that's pretty. Alright, so you're going to notice that you can barely see the image currently, and that's okay. In the bottom left part of your image editor, you're going to have a box. Click it. You see it says crop right here. You can have the option of Ken Burns on the right side. Let's flip that around. So let's start at the top of the image. And we'll scroll down. I only I stopped about right there, so. And you're gonna notice, let it work for a second. And there you have it. There are your credits scrolling quickly. There's your logo scrolling along with it. So that was a really, really fast, simple way to do what he is looking for. You want to create your credits in a long, tall, skinny, uh, high resolution image. Go ahead and type all your credits out. Put the logos in, put a background in if you want, um, and you know, there you go. It's going to scroll along with it using the Ken Burns effect. Again, I know that there are a million ways to do this. You can motion track, you can, all, you can keyframe. I mean, there are a million ways to do this, but this is a very, very simple and fairly quick way to get that done with your logos.